Right, I'm now off on a hike here over that way to a uh, deer reservoir if I can. I'll get that off the lens. And uh, I'm doing it with no, I'm still fasting from last night, so I've had no food. So this is sort of another test in how I'm dealing with it, how my body's dealing with it anyway. Right, good morning from Scotland in Galloway. Uh, so I've been asked to do what inspires me being a photographer. I don't really have to say that what the inspiration is. Uh, for one, <clears throat> the camera doesn't play a role in what I'm doing. So I'm not coming out here for photography. I'm actually coming out here to do hiking, adventure, in living life. The camera just tags along for the ride. So, I've been a professional photographer for quite a while now, retired sort of, but uh, generally I hike along and whatever I connect to, I photograph it. I have no set idea in my mind what I'm going to see to photograph. So today I've got a 100mm macro lens on from Canon. So Canon R6 and an L lens uh, Canon uh, macro. I haven't used the camera for absolutely ages. And I've also forgotten the batteries as well, which is not very, uh, not very smart of me. <laughs> so the macro lens here, it's too powerful for here really. So. What can I photograph here as I take it in? Like I said, I haven't done photography for over two months, so I will be rusty with it. But let's... Right, so I use manual weight balance. I use... The camera is in manual and it's set by myself. So I say 100. I'm going to use a flat. Make sure it's all off, 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 off. So what I'm trying to do is match the colours inside the camera to that out there. Best of what I can do with the kit I've got, basically. I don't edit whatsoever. So the only shot I can see here for this lens is the shot over there with all the all the flowers and stuff like that. You don't want much sky. There's not much going on in the sky this morning. Have the bit have the bit of the streaming down here and have that and, and it's just a general photograph really. So I'm going for an exposure. Yeah. So what I do is I point the camera down. I use the old-fashioned uh, exposure lock. I'm on f2.8, so I want a nice tight depth of field. And I'm shaking quite bad today, so it doesn't work. So what I'm going to do is, and now try a little bit different, is increase the contrast a little bit, up the colour, take it down a little bit lower, so what I'm doing, I'm trying to gauge what the camera is saying, I've set the, I've set the camera up via the PC, via the uh, editing software, so I don't have to edit at all. So I'm basically looking for contrast set there, colours uh, where the camera is limited, and try and, and make the most of what's there. That's basically it. It's, it's, I don't, I connect with my surroundings. So here, we've got over here. It's 
so we've got a, now this may not work on this lens, as I said it's, it's a fixed focal length, so there's a house in the distance, there's an old rusty gate here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it on the thirds, put it on the thirds a little bit, just got to watch for ticks, again I'm going to go, now I'm going to have the the house in, in focus and I'm going to have all this out of focus with the f2.8 job. Now I'm going to lower so I'm going to lower, lower the Kelvin to uh, 5200 5,100 up the colour now a little bit I've got the trees in there I've got the gate I've got the flowers in here but they out of focus and it leads into the house over in the background that's it I've not set that up at all I've just seen it and taken it so that's that is it <laughs> That is how that is how easy photography really is. You got to let your mind go. You got to let you got to stop thinking about the camera and enjoy the moment, and it will happen. If you're thinking about the camera, it's never going to happen. I see too many photographers doing that. So I'm not being funny. When it comes to wild hiking trails and stuff like this, they shouldn't be coming down here. They shouldn't be coming down here with a mower just to make it easier for people uh, that's my opinion anyway hiking's about uh, rawness and stuff like that and not, not being managed to make it easier for people because it's a bit stupid look, that's been, the grass has been mown it's a bit silly really that is people want everything too easy these days It's quite hot down here, it's uh, so the hills in the background there. So normally when I come up here, I'm actually labouring quite badly. And I'm not having no issues apart from the flies. <laughs> We're a bit keen round there. Land on my arm, go on, go on, I dare you. I dare you land on my arm. Whack! pond down there, mosquito pond. So just leaving the uh, the woodland, what's full of flies out into the open countryside now. And there's a chap up here hiking, second one today. <coughs> right, so this is when, when you're doing photography now, it's very hot. In Scotland, you have a uh, you have a fly called Cleggs, and you've got to be very aware of these little buggers. Conditions are actually <coughs> not particularly nice, no wind. So here, what I like to do here, so it's, it's a very flat image. It is extremely flat. This image. But you can try and make something of it. So what I like to do is use these grasses here as a nice smooth, uh, I can't remember, I used to call it something. Anyway, it's just a lovely, smooth, peaceful image. So, like I said, I can't hang about because of the fly issues here. There's a little tree over there. They're going to increase the contrast to actually help some with some punch in the image. So I'm going to go f uh, 3.5. The little tree is on the thirds. Five. 
5,300 Kelvin. Just one for luck. So one of the main problems with a Canon camera is every time you increase the, the, the weight balance it increases orange in a horrible way. It, it's a very diff difficult camera to get the hang of and, and to get it to actually work. So this is, fa this is fairly green, there's not a great deal of orange in this image here. But the camera, but the camera is displaying a lot of orange which you can't do much about it's, it's really difficult to get so there's another little trick is use the tone control to take it to the green here so let's take it to the green get the get the tree in between the grasses Hold the exposure and get bit. Let's <laughs> go a bit colder on this weak balance. That's quite a tricky one to get that. Right, so what I've done is to help the camera, because Canon has a real issue with this, like I said, it's sending the grasses orange when you increase the, the colour to give some punch to the image. So I've used the tone control to adjust into the green side. The blue is okay. It's just trying it's just trying to portray an image here. Of, like, I'm using the smoothness, it's, it's a very flat image this. So I've boosted the contrast up to give it some punch. <clears throat> and they won't be edited either. So far so good apart from it, it is extremely hot. It's probably about 24, 25 with a lack of breeze here and the flies are a bit of a pain actually. Uh, you've got to be careful with them actually. So this is where experience comes in with uh, the heat so I've worked outside all my life and uh, I've been in some extreme conditions doing that and doing this and I know I can I know I have the ability to do it <clears throat> it's uh I wish the wind would pick up a little bit because it is actually quite it's nasty weather actually it's nasty weather today I've got to bring my little scarf wrapped around my head so anyway not an issue so so here we have quite an interesting shot I just got to be careful of the flies this is real photography, people. <laughs> so we have, we have some layering in the trees here. Darks, right? So, and the wind turbines. The wind turbines creates a shot, actually. Helps create the shot. So, I'm going to go 5,300 here, lower that, itch my back, <laughs> quickly take the shot. That's it, and that's what you got to port with if you want to do this thing. <laughs> Hi Miles, this is the worst fly plague issue I've ever, ever experienced yet. Horse flies, gad flies, whatever you want to call them. <clears throat> it's no wind, you see, you get rid of them. 
can't stop for long, that's for sure. <clears throat> oh. What a fair pain in the ass. <laughs> they mean business today. <laughs> One took a chunk out of my leg. First time I'm actually crying out for some wind today. The turbines are hardly moving, look. <clears throat> it's uh it cut down the fly issues. <laughs> Yeah. That's the only problem with the summer, you know, it's a, it's a hot day today and it's just one of them days which is ideal for flies <clears throat> and believe you me, you don't want to be, keep being bitten by those flies because, well I have a trouble, a lot of trouble with fly baits and uh, I want them to land on my arm so I can actually knock them senseless. <clears throat> Anyway, I try not to detract, distract from the, the beautiful countryside views here in Galloway. <clears throat> so coming up just here is some of Scotland's new uh, wild, wilding projects. Are they not that? But these here, they set broadleaf as part of that project they're doing. Bring back more native trees and stuff, which is a pleasant thing to see. So as you can see, as, I'm, as I was just explaining, all this has been set up as part of the uh, rewilding of Scotland really. Yeah, it's good to see, I mean, I know it's they all man, uh, man set, you know, but it's, you know, it's a start, isn't it? It's better than nothing. And there's obviously a lot of birds in here, I can see quite a few. Right, so there's an old barn toot thing over there, which I'm not going to go to today due to fly issues. Uh, Sheer uh, Smithwood uh, Bastille. So if you want to stop and pause it and read, you're quite welcome to, because I don't really want to stop here due to flies, but the building is over there. Uh, yeah, there's just too many, there's too many clegs about today, and they do cause some problems. <laughs> Right, so this is an interesting little shot over here. You've got the hair stand there, which has got some depth to it. You've got a dark tree, which helps push everything back. So I'm looking at the weight balance. It's about 5,400, something like that. <clears throat> right, F2, F2.8 uh, on the macro steel. Full manual control, full manual control on the on the weight balance. Plus can actually remember which button to press to be under. I'm actually gonna have the tree right in the middle for once. Go down a bit. So what I've done there, what I've done there, the, the house, I've just clipped the side of the house on the highlights just by a fraction. It's, uh, but yeah, I've got the house bang in the middle, uh, the tree in the middle for once. Can I do another one there? Let's have a go. So now I want the tree, uh, I want the house and the tree on the thirds, uh, and the rest is going to be on the hillside if the if the flies leave me alone. F two point eight still. So 
So the side of the house which is pure wheat, I've just touched it on the highlights. That's on the max then. Beautiful colours, the greens, the grasses and that. Just fascinates me. People just walk past them, but I just love the rich tones of green. What's like down there? Ringlet. Beautiful. It's midday roughly, I would have thought. No problems yet. Nope. Last little bit to the deer reservoir. And that has been very easy. Not a challenge whatsoever. So now it's uphill all the way to the reservoir. Right, so far so good. I've not been able to do anything like this before. And since, since I started hiking and being outside many, many years ago, in the 90s in fact, I've got food, I don't need it, I don't feel hungry. Bloody good concentration today, actually I feel really sparky today. Uh, I'm getting goose pimples from the heat, which is a little tiny issue there, but that does happen when you're hot. And it's uh, a bit of breeze hits you, but yeah, you got to be careful of them type of things. Uh, not an issue whatsoever anywhere yet, let's say yet. Not been able to do this like this. Even when I was uh, at my peak fitness the other year, I couldn't do this like this. Legs I don't feel like they're even doing anything, really. I'm not pushing them at all. I'm going along at my uh, normal pace. I do have a higher, higher powered pace, but that comes later on when I get a bit fitter. It's ridiculous, ridiculously easy at the moment. So I'm at the reservoir, and they're still working on it. That's a year now. I think it was only meant to be a few months. You know what Britain's like, eh? <laughs> Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous how long they take to do these things. I'm not a vehicle. Woo, it's hot. Woo. Right. Rody, ody, Put the camera down now. And then try. Was <laughs> oh, that bomb still there? They're not collecting. <laughs> Just hope there's not too many bloody flies down there. Bet there is. <laughs> no one ever always a treat to sit under at the heat. Oh, lovely. Can't no one here apart from people working. Oh, look, there's a tree. Shade. Shade me likes a bit of shade in this heat. It's a nice little convenient. Oh, that's nice and convenient. So, is there actually anyone here? Look at that, no one here in the middle of summer. Amazing. I don't know if they don't know what they're missing, really, to be honest with you. So this is their reservoir, it's actually quite low, uh, low, obviously. Completely devoid of people, apart from the workmen over there. Uh,
amazing, amazing pair of MT it is for people. And there's a little fish down there. Can't, no one here. It's amazing. It's middle of summer. I mean, you know, it's. See, that's the best thing uh, with what I do, you see. I, I, I hike on the off-beaten tracks and not on the beauty spots and stuff like that. And you get to see places like this on your own. It's not overcrowded at all. And, uh, it's lovely. Lovely like this. No one about it. have the camera low because it's on uh, unstable ground and I don't want to damage the camera so here today is a real tricky situation here it is uh, it this reservoir very bland that way there's no photographs that way at all uh, the only photograph I can see here is the boat and the trees in the background I might as well sit down and do this and not get back up so I've got the macro on here so now it's still a it's a very flat image it really is but it's meant you you come in, when you so hiking for me so you make the most of it so right so it, it's a bad day it's midday it, it's really it's crap conditions actually so to make it a little bit more interesting so I'm going to switch the camera over black and white so this this is quite a handy black and white little image so you've got the dark boat here the wooden boat which gives some contrast to, to a black and white you've got the trees and that in the background I can't photograph that way because it's men, it's men doing a ton of work over there and stuff like that so I can only just fit the boat in so there's a buoy or something floating over there so yeah I might as well add that I don't know what it is but and the trees in the background now I'm a little bit too close really for comfort so what I'm gonna do to make to, to help this shot is it's still very flat is it is like I said the dark boat now but it is it's a flat shot so not much in the way of sky is going on here so I'm only going to get a little bit of sky in I'm not doing much in the thirds anything like that I'm going by my rule so let's have a look out of there so yeah I'm there gonna have the boat in and the trees I'm not gonna have that thing floating over there whatever it is so I'm gonna go f3.2 and I'm gonna go f2.8 uh, but what I'm going to do with the camera, which I've completely forgotten how to use it, uh, because I haven't used the camera for such a long time, so why isn't it doing that? Right. Ah, it's that way, is it? <laughs> oh yeah, I reset it. Yeah, of course I did. Uh, right, custom settings. I can't find what I'm looking for, as per usual. No, I don't know where I am on the camera. <laughs> right, we want... I've got to find it first. Clarity control, which is basically adds adds some grit and noise to the image. Uh, so, I'm going to go on free. I'm going to go very high with it. Let's just have a look at the manual. So, yeah, I want some contrast in this shot as well. Just to pr produce something there I thought there was something that was going on there I thought how come I, I, I can actually fit the image in yeah because the, the boat has turned around actually actually it's turned around in a good spot and there I can right so let's just have a look I'm going to start off I think that's a bit too bright this shot I'm on the thirds with the boat now Yeah, so the, the boat is in. Uh, the boat is in. 
focus nowhere else is I'm just looking at the say the hit I'm using the histogram I'm using the RGB histogram I'm not using the standard brightness histogram which is a little bit tricky for the for this type of shot but yeah on the weight uh, it's not 100% on the weight there's no 100% weight there in fact I'm gonna go a little bit darker is there any highlights going off up there highlights there Five thousand five hundred on the Kelvin. I go down a bit more. That's it. There's a lot here. There's some blue there. I'm going to go down lower actually. Four four thousand uh, nine hundred on the Kelvin, even in black and white. That's no highlights here at all, really. Let's just do that one a bit more darker. Up the contrast a bit more to four, set in four plus four. I don't particularly I've gone a little bit brighter. It's a tricky one. It, it, it's, 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 it is a tricky thing. That uh, is it a colour photo? Let's have a look on the colour. The camera is actually not doing very good with this. Do it a bit on that. Five thousand two hundred. Right, so the problem here with a cannon is there's, there's a medium type of blue going on there. It's sort of crossed between the blue and the darker blue in the background. But with Canon, they have a problem with their blues going purple, which I have tried to fix, but it's difficult to do. But there's no other shots there. Oh, you've got two boats here. Blanc's back, but I don't think it's a photo at all. It's the wind turbines in there as well. No, that's not a, that's not a decent photo enough, really. It's, but I will move. I'll be back in a minute. Before I get up. Right, so I'm just checking along the dam wall here. If this was wet, I'll be in there in the, in the flash. <laughs> I'll be down in there. Hundred mile an hour. So have we got a photograph here? Of these three boats, possible. I can't hold the camera this time. Not doing this. This camera will go in. Got a little photo here. Oh, we got a little photo here. If I put the camera down there, I'm going to do this one black and white. <laughs> no, I can't quite fit. Oh, no, I can't quite fit the camera. Can't quite. <laughs> and the bags are turning round as well. <laughs> you, <laughs> you little buggers, don't go that way. You're going the wrong way, man. <laughs> but yeah, it's because I've got the macro and I can't fit all the boats in. So uh, I've scrubbed that shot for now. Uh, mm. I think they're shy. I don't think they let their front taken. I've got a funny feeling about them. <clears throat> Can we do two? Yeah, let's do the two. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have to do this one-handed here. <clears throat> not much you can really do, to be honest with you. I'm overbalancing everything here, so. <sighs> right, some extreme highlights going on here. Oh yeah, I'll do that one. That'd be okay. If I can hold the camera okay. Let's get that down a bit. That may work and it may not work. Simple as that. A bit stuck here because of this uh, palaver going on up here. <clears throat> That's better, but easier to walk on here. 
<sighs> you're going to do silly things like this, just make sure you're okay. Doing it! Because I've got no way of actually stopping myself going over. I've got a camera in one hand and a camera in the other. Awkward, very awkward subjects up here because the way they've moved in the in the sunshine, in the wind even. No photos here at all. Well, let's have a look just in case. There's some grasses here. Let's have a look at the grasses. It's just a tricky thing, really. No. Nope. Right, it's going okay. Uh, I have got some hunger feelings going on, but I'm okay. There's no energy loss. There's no loss anywhere. There's no signs of blood sugar le level issues. Uh, my stomach is burning a bit, but that's because it's got no food in it. I've not eaten in since last night at eight o'clock. And this is a seven and a half mile hike, roughly. So this is massive for me. This is massive. Well, wow. see, even a even a road in Scotland, some road. Well, I've, I've walked thousands and ponds, thousands of miles of lanes around the country. I really have Bedfordshire, Kent, Suffolk, Norfolk, Lincolnshire, God, North York Moors everywhere, and. Lane walking is actually quite nice when it's as pretty as this. It's uh, the only thing what's spoiling the day really is the flies. They're a pain in the neck, but it is getting a little bit windy, which might make it a bit easier. <clears throat> I mean, look at that beautiful view over there. Look. So, so far I've been out, I've seen two people, um, one was actually walking past the motorhome, there's an old chap walking along up there a couple of hours ago, I've uh, seen two cars <laughs> down here, heard them, I didn't see them, it's as I was sitting near the reservoir, so it's, uh, it's overpopulated. <laughs> I just entered the trail. So this is slightly uphill for a little while, and it goes downhill. Still no issues, still no food, I've not been eating, I've not needed any food, just water. And uh, yeah, you need a lot of water out here, so I've already done a, I've already done quite a bit on a lot on about uh, 500 mil left. So you come up here because it's hilly. A little bit of lactic acid, which is not a bad thing. It means my body has to get energy from somewhere else. So hopefully it starts working on the fat there. Right, so there's a nice little pretty little shot of the track in the trees. Now, right, let's see. Now this is an interesting one because this will do black and white and colour. So give it plus one on the, on the contrast. Uh, I've got, I'm using the, hang on, let's turn that down a bit. Clarity control on the camera is set to one, which smooths it out a little bit. F2.8.
I'm just going to have to guess this one because I'm not on the right thing here. Yeah, I'll go down one more. I nearly got it on one go. Right, so now I'm going to do a colour version of it. Five thousand three hundred Kelvin. I'm going to go higher on the on the colour this time, but then I'm going to take it into the green on the on there, then take it down a little bit. About there on the track. It's a bit dark actually. Five thousand five hundred. A little bit brighter. Right, so what you're doing there, you're going for showing the beauty of the of the of the grasses and all stuff like that. Yeah, and if the camera's going to behave itself. So this is easy. This is. So what I'm going to do, f2.8, I'm going to have the track out of focus, and I'm going to uh, focus on the uh, the red hill in the background. Really easy to do. So. Down there, so it's on the weights, uh, strong, yeah, it looks okay on there. 5,000, 5,500. Go on that. A little bit more contrast for punch, and leave the colour as it is. So, right, first of all, just a very simple shot. It's a bit too bright that one. Go down a bit. Up, up a bit. A little bit more on that. 5,600. Right, that's it. Like that. <clears throat> right, I've got to be quick here again because of the fly, the fly issues. So, going low here for a leading line again to the hills. Now I'm going to go f2.8. No, I'm not. I'm going to open the camera up at actually f3.2. Five thousand five hundred on the Kelvin. Are the trees in there? I'm on the thirds on the line of the thirds there. Go down a bit more. Right. I'm just going to change the contrast on the camera down to zero. Down to zero, but I'm going to introduce a little bit of clarity control for that extra little bit of grit in the image. I'm going to go now. Looks a bit washed out on colour now, so up the colour a little bit more. No. That's better to do that. Let's find, let's find that out. Take another one. The flies. Because they are our little buggers. Absolute beautiful places. I really do. This is this is by miles my favourite bit in Galloway. To be honest with you, just this patch here and around the corner in that valley. It's just uh, just got some of the bed. It's just very peaceful. It looks dead cold in the winter as well as the summer. And uh, apart from the flies. <laughs> You can't stop too long because they uh, come out. They come from out the the grass and uh, gang bite you to death. Basically, <clears throat> it's a pity because it's actually a really good day for butterflies, but you just can't do it really unless you've got protective gear on because you are going to get bitten to pieces. 
this is basically a climb all the way up here and down here it's climbing no food still still going perfectly some lactic acid in the legs requiring more power which is normal no issues with anything really not even stiffness which is weird with me one thing to note because I'm going uphill I'm maintaining the same pace I've had no food I've been fasting since 8 o'clock last night when I put more power down my stomach starts to burn here now is that something releasing something to control I wonder if that is why well, I say the stomach works when it needs more power and you're burning fat I don't know be interesting to find out that that last little bit started to push quite hard no problem still heart rate going up no problems feel like I'm able to put quite a bit of force through my legs without sending them nuts so I'm going to have to stop here and finish my drink off that's the only thing really two massive bottles of drink and I've gone through them Well, this is one of the easiest hikes I've ever done in my life. I wasn't expecting it. <clears throat> I am getting quite thirsty, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, other than that, chin splints are playing up, and uh, which they will recover in about two weeks on their own accord. And uh, it's something I've suffered from uh, from the early 20s when I used to run. I used to run in a funny way which destroyed my legs destroyed the uh, shins so but yeah other than that <coughs> this is easy as hell not a single problem I've even got decent flex left in the legs which is a little bit stiff because it is repetitive but yeah other than that it's a breeze back in Clegg Alley well, the clegs are everywhere, horse flies. Call them clegs up here. They keen, I've given that. I've been bitten just once so, so far. I think I've been out about four and a half, five hours. So, bait ratio is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Mind you, I'm waving my arms around quite a bit to try and stop them landing on me. If someone saw me in the distance, they think I'm trying to take off or something. What the hell is that person doing? If this all, if this is the food which is producing this performance, and obviously it's dead clear that either I'm insulin resistant. Or there's a food allergy there which is causing my sugar levels to dive up and down. I've had no food and since 8 o'clock last night. And here's me, I'm doing a hike, I'm having no issues whatsoever. A little bit of stiffness, a tiny bit. I am normally, by now, completely rigor mortis. Because obviously... Things are not working properly and it obviously causes the legs to seize up and everything. It's amazing. I can't believe I can't believe the change. So 
hard to get my head round. It is really difficult to get my head round. I'm not used to this. <clears throat> not so many flies here this time. <laughs> Earlier this morning, a bit more windy. lovely through here. In the winter this is raging down here. It's like a little, little mini waterfall gone, stream gone mental. A lot of deer here as well. <clears throat> Butterflies. It's okay. Uh, I think it's a common blue. Can't actually tell until you're close to them really. Alrighty. Best oh, a pair, a pair of blues here. Two males having a go. Having a go down there, having a balmy, having the butterfly standoff. Beautiful, yeah, common blue, I think they are. Beautiful creatures. People should look after a countryside so we actually keep these. Beautiful, beautiful creatures. Not very good weather for photog uh, for macro on them though. Uh, it's very harsh conditions. You really want a nice, you want a nice mild day and slightly overcast skies for butterflies and macro just creates a better image <clears throat> contrasts are too harsh for macro like this I actually feel like I haven't been out walking it's that easy it's mad Absolutely mad. I'm not getting any I'm not getting any fatigue issues in the legs and the quad muscles. I mean if I kept going it's gonna happen. It's only the second time I've actually been back well hiking so no stiffness issues which is weird. Flex issues yes in the legs but that's because of age related stuff you know I can actually come out and enjoy myself and not worry about the uh, hell kicking off of uh, power cuts and all sorts which sounds dark but it actually happens I have power failure in the legs said I wish the shin splints would stop uh, they only painful when you're going downhill at an angle and your ankles are at an angle going uphill is no issues <clears throat> and it is extremely hot today as well it's probably about 25 I would have thought Colleagues are out Colleg <clears throat> so this is what I've been attempting to do for 30 years is actually go hiking without rolling around on the floor with my legs gone Elvis impressions, low blood sugar levels you know, completely out of control, no power disconnection of the legs nothing's happening, it's just, it's just remaining absolutely normal um, uh, can't get my head around it actually can't get my head around it if it, it's food related it's a food related issue and I've had this for, for over 30 years 30 years <laughs> ruin my career ruin. it's a real scorcher Woo. This is hot for Scotland. <laughs> this is this, this is a uh, yeah. This is a uh, 
gas mark bet eight, I think. Along here. I wish the ga I wish the floors would gas mark off. It's the only problem with summer is the uh we just ate for blood. <laughs> I've been watching one too many Dracula films, I think. <clears throat> What the hell is that noise over there? Cares. Oh yeah, of course it is. There's a massive care field around here full of bloody things. Can't hardly really see the grass for cares. I don't think that's very humane to be honest. <laughs> Let me out, let me out, let me out. Let me out, let me out. Woo! Stroof, mate. Stroof is a scorcher, mate. I was going to go swimming, actually. I'm not going to bother today. One thing, it's actually not deep enough to do any swimming in. I mean, that does look decent depth but it's not it's only about up to my knees there's a little pond round there you can go in but it's just no point done it the van's there I've done it no food all that fasting same amount of energy levels still and I've picked the pace up in the last two miles. I never thought I'd actually achieve anything like this with what I've been having. Unbelievable. Success, I've done it. I've done it with no food and fast and everything. No, no issues with energy levels. I'm getting a bit tired now, but that's a, that's a decent distance over seven miles. And it's hot. And I'm low on water. It's the hottest I've walked in for a while actually. I've never ever been able to do this like this.